Hello, hello. What is up, everyone? This is your friend Kyle and Corey Camp here uh, with your What's Up Wednesdays. Uh, Corey, how, how are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm good. You know, did you notice that fancy new intro that we just had? Did anyone else notice that? I'll play it again if we need <laughs> to. <laughs> we're super excited. We were hoping to have that ready. At, you know, we took that week off uh, and we had a few people guess that what we were doing. I wish I would have been sleeping but or baking cookies um, or at the beach like Brian was, but I was none of those things. I was just head down working. Never uh, that, never that. We, did you that was, did you bake cookies in our week off? We never I, talked about this last week. That, that, that was a funny question. Actually, when I seen that, I was I, I started laughing immediately, and especially how <laughs> my, my face was on there. Ironically, I was baking cookies. That was, <laughs> I, I wish. And, and Kyle I wish Howard I makes the best cookies. He does. And he I ships was, them anywhere. I was. I was doing that. But we also know that that, that you were not sleeping. Corey Camp does not sleep. Is always no. putting in those works. We have some great things rolling out with Sydney, the Learning Center, um, some new courses going on. So this is yeah. definitely going to be an exciting What's Up Wednesday today. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty juiced up on this, Corey. How about you? I am. I am. You talk about the Learning Center. So today we're talking about our upcoming course and we've got our author, which we're going to introduce in a minute. But I just want to take a moment to say that the Sydney Learning Center has surpassed. I, I don't like have to just say that we're at this. We have surpassed over 2,000, actually over 2,200, 2,200 and some change learners in the learning center. And I could not be more excited. And we aren't even at the full like one year anniversary mark yet. Um, that's next month. So it's amazing that we have, and most of those learners are not even Sydney users, which is kind of cool. We've got several courses out there. You don't have to be a subscriber to Sydney or still a subscriber, you can just enroll for free in many of our courses. And uh, yeah, and then our new formative assessment course from our teacher learning series has had lots of new enrollments. We just kickstarted a um, exclusive huddle space with access to Coach Kelly um, that that's starting with because we've got a couple of teachers who You've got to have a Sydney account in order to access that free course. And so a few teachers have reached out to us saying, I don't have access to Sydney. Our school doesn't know about this thing, but I really want to take this course. And so they've got themselves a, their own Sydney license. And now they're a part of a huddle or a collaborative space with Coach Kelly and others who are taking that course, people from all around the world, which is kind of cool. And so I'm excited to see some collaboration kick off with that. So exciting exciting things happening in the learning center and among our users that's that's great news because the the thirst for knowledge does not end yeah not end. and and, yeah. and that that numbers completely shows that um it, you know we're still going we're still going strong especially with those new uh, instructional coaches new teachers new folks in general just going to those new roles and still needing that additional support um outside of you know Folks are actually trying to break the bank to, or to break, you know, to, to spend that, spend a little change to, uh, to learn. But we have that great access in the Sydney Learning Center. Mm -hmm. uh, but not only that, uh, I'm really excited about this new course coming out and our guest today, uh, Dr. Tanya Gori. And when I'm speaking to other, uh, you know, instructional coaches, teachers, or, or principals, we all they always get excited about looking at her youth case and really how uh, calibrating those leaders. Um, going into this next school year. So we're really excited about uh, that in the new course coming up. Yeah. So let's bring her in, Dr. Tanya Gori. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, so excited that you're here to talk about leadership calibration and this new course that we've got going on. So um, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, I'm, we're really excited to have you on. So, doc, Dr. Gori, uh, for one, we want to thank you for attending this What's Up Wednesdays today. Um, but I, I have to ask, especially with this a new course of Calibrate Leadership, what is leadership calibration and why is it important, especially moving on to this, this new school year? Well, leadership calibration, in my opinion, is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to align processes to ensure there's a clear um, shared instructional vision among the leaders on a campus in an organization or a school district. It's also a process to synchronize instructional goals with instructional practices. 
Leadership calibration prevents us from falling prey to our own personal inhibitions, our shortcomings. Instead, um, through this calibration process, we develop a skill set, an instructional coaching skill set that best serves the teachers, leaders, um, or anyone in the organization. The importance, well, the alignment, um, the alignment that's afforded through the calibration process ultimately yields the greatest coaching experience for teachers. We cannot assume anything. That's where we make our mistakes. We assume that everyone has the same understanding as we do. Don't assume anything. Leadership calibration takes away the assumptions and basically replaces it with best practices. Um, as individuals move to online learning, uncharted territory for some, for sure, um, the same rigorous high quality instruction is expected on a virtual platform or through remote learning as is when there's face-to-face -face instruction. So teachers are going to need instructional coaching, high quality instructional coaching, and some may need heavy coaching. Through um, leadership calibration, the, co the coaching team develops what I consider a common lexicon to give more consistent coaching feedback. And consistency, we know, um, builds trust in the coaching process. Yeah. Gosh, I love that. Yeah. So many things that you said there that really kind of hit home in the fact that we need to have that synchrony across, of, across our team, that we need that common lexicon. And mm -hmm. We need that, especially as we move into the flexible learning arrangements that we have for this next school year. Many people are, are saying we're doing distance learning. What exactly does that look like? Is mm -hmm. that streaming live lessons? Is that a combination of some pre-recorded and live lessons? Um, how do we still reach for instructional excellence, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what the setting is. And so um, I think that's definitely something that teams need to be talking about and making sure that they have common understandings with. What about you, Kyle? Yeah, definitely. I really want to hone on that secretizing and then taking that assumption out of anything. Um, and, and that's definitely a powerful tool and really speaking into these instructional leaders who need support going into next year. How are we still going to make those adjustments? So uh, I, I'm, I'm really, like I said, excited about this new assessment or this new course uh, coming out uh, and, and rolling out for this year. Yeah, which you can, by the way, pre-register for free. It's like we're putting the final touches on it um, this week. And so uh, look for that. Sure. If you pre-register, we'll email you as soon as it goes live and you can be the first to take it. But oh, hold on, wait, Corey, Corey, did you say free? Did you say free? Free, absolutely oh, okay. free. I, 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 I thought I heard free. Okay. Yes, right. yes, free. Whether or not you have Sydney, just go on to the Learning Center and you can pre-enroll -re pre or pre-register register for that. Um, so, but this course is not just how do I leadership calibrate? Uh, how do I calibrate my leadership team? How do, what, mm -hmm. is, what is that process? But it's about how you do that with video because here at Sydney, we believe yes. that's a transformational tool. So tell us, Dr. Gurry, how do you use video to calibrate your team? What does that look like? So how many of us in the last six months through this pandemic have um, searched uh, for how to operate a learning management system, how to create breakout rooms or how to um, share our screen? People enjoy learning from video. Um, there's also research out there that says that um, employees, that's their preferred method of learning over reading an article. And it is also my preferred method for calibrating the le my leadership team because it affords a more realistic classroom perspective. Um, there are a couple of ways we use video when calibrating. The, the first um, part of this or the first way we use um, video is to once we establish our instructional goals, our instructional priorities, you know, your instructional priorities are those things that you expect to happen every single day in the classroom without fail. Things such as critical writing across content areas or integration and interaction with technology. It could be um, a small group instruction or the use of academic vocabulary, whatever those priorities are. We establish those and then use video to capture. We use video to capture exemplar lessons or exemplar opportunities when those priorities happen. And to that end, we also see the non examples of, of um, what this, these uh, instructional priorities are. So once we have that video, that is our 
our those are our benchmarks. We use we watch those. We talk about why um, it's a best practice, why these are the exemplars, why they're not the exemplars. So that's one way we use the video. Then beyond that, observing a classroom lesson, a, a, a pre-recorded classroom lesson, capturing that lesson and observing that video. Now, this can be done. All, this, all of this does not have to be done in one setting. Of course, we watch the exemplars together. We watch the best practices together. We talk about them. And then when we are watching a, um, a video of a, a lesson, it doesn't necessarily have to happen in the same setting because of, of course, one of my favorite features of Sydney, the timestamp comments. Uh, the My coaching team is allowed or able to watch it on their own time within a set time frame. And I can timestamp comments, questions, or uh, prompts to get them thinking. The coaches then watching that video will provide their feedback or uh, respond to those prompts or questions. Then collectively, we come together and talk about why those uh, questions, comments, why that feedback aligns or does not align. And that's how we collectively create that process of a shared vision. Yeah. Kyle. Yeah, I and I wanted to kind of zone in and what you were saying as far as establishing those goals um, starting off, but then also really uh, the power, finding the power of the of the why, right? Mm -hmm. And then having that those videos to go back and reflect, and then also coming together and having those conversations, mm -hmm. um, and that's what you know I really found found power in that. Now, especially with this this course and this content uh, coming out, what what can folks expect uh, with this with this new course? Well, participants will learn the ins and outs of, uh, le of leadership calibration, why it's so important. It's important, period, but it's even more important during this time because mm -hmm. with all of the remote learning being so new, um, public schools are accustomed to face-to-face -to -face instruction. So remote learning is new for some of our teachers. It is not something that they easily transition to. So it, to give uh, accurate feedback, the entire leadership team needs to have that shared common vision. So you have to calibrate to talk about what's the best practice for this content area, maybe for this grade level, maybe for this particular teacher, but that shared vision, those shared experiences, those, those that consistency is definitely necessary. So through this course, they will learn the ins and outs of leadership calibration. Um, there are downloadable resources and activities that participants will, will, will be able to access. And, um, they will walk away knowing how to use video to build or strengthen their current instructional coaching practice and provide more accuracy, accuracy, consistency, and trust in the instructional coaching process. Yeah. And I think, again, we're, that video is that transformational tool. Maybe you've been calibrating your team for a while now. You've been participating in, in group book studies and having conversations, but maybe you are missing that really objective clear picture of reality that video can provide. Um, so I think this is great for that. And, and again, you mentioned this, it's not just about being able to see what that looks like in instruction and identify it. It's also about the mm -hmm. feedback, right? Mm -hmm. Once we're in that coaching process, video can again be used as a tool to see how we're facilitating that feedback, those conversations, the growth, and we can share those with, with our team members and get feedback on our feedback. Um, so, I, and 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 those are definitely things that are activities that are outlined. And my favorite thing about the activities in this course, and really all our courses, is they're they're separate activities focused on different components that you've learned throughout the course, and you can use them all as a full system, or you can use them piece by piece for whatever is relevant and most meaningful you at that with you at that time. So um, I think that these activities, and they're the things that a lot of people are most excited about the things we get best, the best feedback from are the activities. The videos really build that knowledge and make us think through maybe a different lens, even if we have been um, users of a process of calibration, but the activities really help you kind of implement it within that piece. So this is gonna be a really great course. Again, you can pre-register it's completely free, not just the pre-registration, but once it's open, it's free uh, for you to take at the Learning Center. Just find it at learn.sydney.com. Um, if you've got questions for us or for Dr. Garee, you can post those below and um, we'll be checking those out throughout the, the week. But uh, I am so excited 
Dr. Gurry, that we've gotten to collaborate with you on this project. I know we started talking about this and, and you wrote some of the initial content for this course last summer. And so we're just getting around to putting this out. And um, I just can't wait to see everybody's feedback on the course. It's going to be good. Likewise, it is it's so imperative. It really and truly is that everyone's on the same page. And the only way that I have found to truly get my team on the same page is through the calibration and that using that video because it gives you the greatest perspective of what's happening in the classroom. Yeah, um, having recorded that video. So I'm excited for the participants as well. Yeah, definitely. And, and as you mentioned, you know, video. Sydney is more than just the video piece. It's how you can capture and how you can share, but it also allows for you and your team as you're managing a million different things, possibly from your own homes, this work asynchronously. So you can work smarter and not harder. Um, and I, we didn't talk about that earlier when you mentioned it, but I wanted to bring that back full circle that it's definitely yeah. about having a good place to share these calibration resources and videos. So you can definitely work asynchronously and synchronously online and offline together. So that really is the the icing on the cake for sure. Absolutely. The, the, the power of working asynchronously, the the, the, the free registration or, or signing up and uh, Corey, you said we're at what number? We're at in the Learning Center two, 2000 or 22? Yeah, over, over 2200. So well, get, get, get ready for that number to jump up some more here. We have Dr. Tony Burry coming in and, and, and we're all excited about it, especially coming into this, this next year. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Gori. And I know we're going to be seeing you again um, soon. So thanks for joining us on the What's Up Wednesday show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. So as we wrap up, Kyle, just I wanted to do a quick shout out to uh, my friends at Sheboygan's uh, Education Service department district i can't remember what their acronym stands for essentially you know i love anybody who's part of an educational service center or education agency they're out of michigan sheboygan cop esd um, has been getting ready to get their early literacy teachers up and running this year uh, using the sydney platform to connect them all across the region and provide some micro learning micro remote learning for those teachers they've been studying the early literacy skills and standards for a couple of years now and um, this is their way of really looking at how they can look at implementation and take it to the next level so shout out to Sheboygan and my friends Kim and Rich and uh, the other Kim who's just getting started there so excited to have you guys on board with the Sydney family and uh, way to go you've been working hard and it's going to be so awesome for your teachers all right, Kyle, anything else from you today? Oh, well, if I can throw a shout out, I just want to shout out to everyone that's signing up for the, for the learning centers, for the courses and the continuing ones that they're going to be coming in after seeing this video. So shout out to y'all who are going to be joining us here. So that's who my shout out is going to. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I always like a good added in shout out. All right, Kyle. Well, uh, we will see you all next week. Guess what? In addition to an intro, we've got a fancy new outro. So we'll be playing that as we get started. All right, everyone. Have a great week. Bye. Adios.